Now, one of the important things and probably the, without a doubt, the most important part of our process and one that we've designed over, you know, the space of 10 years, you know, in operation. So this mechanism that we've developed, which we is an acronym called DAPA, and it, def- it breaks down to the following. Define, articulate, plan, execute, and then, of course, review, report, whatever, right? Now, I'm going to dive into these a little bit, but I want to stress at the beginning, the reason why this is so important is because without doing this process, without going through this, and we know because for a long time we didn't have it, this has been refined over years and years and years of running the agency, we were, we were recommending solutions that we thought were right as opposed to solutions we knew were right. So when we define, in the define stage of DAPA, we are essentially saying, okay, let's do our research. This is where we're really looking into, first of all, what are the existing assets that the business has developed in terms of websites or you know databases or whatever it might be, figuring out that and then going, okay, let's have a look at what their goals are and where they want to end up. Now, that alone is really important because sometimes, and without a deep dive and without asking the right questions, Businesses come to us with what they think is their problem, but in truth, it's not their actual problem. We need to ask the right questions to get to the bottom of this. And I can almost guarantee you're in a similar situation within your own business where you may not be asking enough questions. So defining helps us figure out exactly what the goals are, what the existing assets are. And then off the back of that, we can say, cool, let's go into the next stage, which is articulate. And we're going to say, okay, well, during this stage, we're going to figure out Based on what we've defined in the initial part of the process, we're going to be able to say this is the solution or more likely these are the these solutions, the suite of solutions which are going to help you achieve these goals. So that's articulate. From there, you're going to plan because once you've got the um, – once you've defined what the problems are and you've defined uh, you know, the goals of the business, you've articulated what the solutions are and what the strategies are going to be, then you need to formulate that strategy. You need to develop it in a way which is built for where the business wants to go, not for where they're currently at. And it's really important that you do that because of a number of reasons, but primarily, like most things, if you have a clear understanding of where you want to go, then you can reverse engineer that. And so for context, in the marketing space, we might have a business that wants to generate traffic based on a number of different keywords. So we need to make sure that that forms part of a strategy which we can develop and we can work towards over the space of 12 months. And it's really important that we do that. It's important for a couple of reasons. First of all, we need to be able to create a benchmark that we can measure success from. Because if you don't have a benchmark and you don't have a clear understanding of where you're currently at with that strategy, then how are you going to know if you're improving and you're heading in the right direction? And we review this quite regularly, and I'll get to that in a second, after the execution process, which is the E in the DAPA process. So once you go into the execution process, that's basically where the rubber hits the road, development starts happening, copywriting happens, um, keywords research, deep keyword research, uh, competitor research, strategy, the whole shebang, that all comes into play. And then once that's been executed, then every then regularly you need to move into the next stage, which is review, report, so on and so forth, because you need to be able to track exactly what's going on throughout the entire stage of the process, right? And you need that as well, because then it will fuel back into the plan stage. So once the D and the A are done, then you can move into the P. The P, the E and the R sort of become like a little circulating um, business model there where you're always reviewing, you're always strategizing, and you're always executing, and it just keeps going around and around and around, and it's really important. So that review process takes a deep dive into you know number of different platforms which give us data and analytics. It also takes into consideration feedback, things like what customers, what clients are saying, you know what their clients are saying, um, things that are working, things that aren't working, form completions, you know phone calls that have turned into jobs, and all this kind of stuff, right? So it's a really important um, part of the process in understanding when you're reviewing what's been done as part of the plan and the execution. Well, how do we improve and tweak? and optimize what's being done to improve the results. Yes, this typically takes time, but we have found that we've not been able to successfully deliver on these campaigns as well as we have until we have this process in place and we've had it clearly defined. 